If you want to create better Instagram and Facebook ads that cost you less money, get you in front of your real target audience without all the guesswork, and drive more engagement and sales for your business or personal brand, then you need to install a Meta Pixel. So, you all asked, and now I'm delivering as I always try to do. Today, I'll be breaking down what a Meta Pixel is, previously a Facebook Pixel, why you need it, and how to install it. And I'm also pleased to say that I am building out an Instagram ad series on this channel because the demand is real. So if you haven't yet, hit subscribe so you don't miss out and let me know what you want to learn about in the comments because we are actually taking those comments and using them for video ideas. So without further ado, let's get started. Now let's kick off with what is a Metapixel. So a Metapixel is a small piece of code that you can add to your website. What it does is that it helps you to track the actions of visitors on your website so that you can make better Facebook and Instagram ads that are optimized for success. Now, it can sound complicated, but honestly, the mechanics of it isn't really for us, it's for the engineers, so you don't have to worry about it. What matters is really why you need the Pixel. So let's talk about that. Now, you should use a Pixel because it allows you to track the effectiveness of your ads and make data-driven decisions. Uh, in straight up terms, it'll help you better understand what you're doing and make your ads more powerful, which is what we all want. Now, the three key benefits that I really want to point out today about the Metapixel, uh, one is that they make sure your ads are shown to the right people. So the Pixel helps create warm audiences for you to retarget to, like custom audiences, or create new audience with specific interests based on what Meta already knows about the types of people that would be interested in you or your products or services. Those are lookalike audiences. And I'll definitely do a full video on audiences as well, don't you worry. But in short, if I ever visited your website once or I share the same behaviors as someone who has visited your website in the past, your ad will be shown to me, which means that the guesswork is taken out on your part of creating an audience yourself using what you think I might be interested in, and instead, you get to use Meta's intelligence. Another benefit of the Metapixel is that it helps you get a better return on your investment, the ROI, right? That's what's very important. And one part of this is that your conversion rate will be higher because you're targeting the right people like we just spoke about. And another is you can take advantage of automatic bidding so that you don't overspend to get the conversions you want, like getting a purchase on your site or a sign up for your newsletter. Another benefit is that they help you measure success and improve your ads. Like a question we get a lot is how do I know when my ads are working? And with the Pixel, you'll have a better understanding of how your ads are working and how people interact with them so you can leverage that data for future ads, which is so key. And I also promise that I will do a video on ad performance and how to know what's working in general. Now. Let's talk about how to install a Metapixel. So we're gonna walk through installing a Pixel. It's actually pretty straightforward. So if you've been hesitating, having anxiety, psyching yourself out about it, now is the time to you know get over that and get your Pixel installed. So I want you to grab your laptop or desktop or just watch this once and refer back to it. But the two most important things that you need to know is that you one, need to have a website and two, need to have access to update your website's code. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to events manager. So that's at facebook.com slash events manager. And then this is where you manage all of your data or have access to all the data from the sources you're pulling like your pixel when you're running ads. So that's how you're going to be able to see all the activity. So then you're going to click connect data and then you'll select web because you're doing your website. Then you're going to hit continue or connect then you're going to head over and actually name your pixel. Um, I'm just going to call this pixel YouTube fam pixel because, you know, why not? You're my YouTube fam. Um, and then in the next section there, you're going to have to enter your website URL. So literally just your website's, uh, your website address. And then it's going to run like a check for you. So you'll just hit the check button and then it should clear out and then you'll be able to hit next. When you go to the next page, you'll notice that if you're eligible for an integration, you'll choose how to connect your website to Facebook. Meta recommends the conversion 
Tokens API and Metapixel option, but because this is a test account and more of a one-on-one -on -one video, we'll be using just the Pixel only. So then you're gonna click Continue once you've selected Manual, and you'll see two easy setup options to either use a partner integration, which is basically fail-proof. You'll just need to follow the step-by-step -step instructions, which vary depending on the site. We used Squarespace, and it was literally just copying the single Pixel code number into a dedicated area on the site. It was so easy. If your partner is not on the list, you can do it manually. So you can hit the manual pixel installation option. And all you need to do is copy the code that Meta will provide you with and paste it into the header section of your website and then follow those instructions. Again, also very straightforward. If you aren't the person running your website or don't feel confident about injecting code, you can email the instructions to your site developer. I'm popping up an example of what that looks like here. In the future, we can talk about event setups, which is another aspect of ads, and that's standard and custom events. It's a bit more advanced in terms of tracking key actions, which I think deserves a dedicated video on its own. So let me know if you'd like to see that too. And with that, your Pixel is installed. So what happens next? After that, it should take about 30 minutes to an hour to start firing off, which means that it's activated. So that's like about an hour before you start seeing activity from actions on the site. So people visiting it or whatever they're doing to interact with it. And that'll be on the events manager dashboard. So that dashboard is where you'll see all the activity like page views, clicks, registrations, etc. And if you don't get a ton of traffic normally, just to get things kicking off, I would go over there and start clicking through your website just to start firing at the pixel. From there, you can create your ads, collect insights on your visitors, build those audiences we discussed, and analyze your performance so you can make better Instagram ads. And now when you also create those ads, you'll see an option to actually select the pixel for tracking in ads manager. it will have a little green dot there so you know you did what you were supposed to do right. If you want a bit more guidance on how to set up and run an ad from beginning to end, I definitely recommend that you check out this very in-depth video. Uh, it's about 36, 37 minutes long. It, it's, it's, it's dense, okay? But it's worth it. So let me know in the comments if there are other ad topics you want me to cover and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the video when it goes live. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye and happy creating.